thought level form des describing the next level that will be excavated and then we put it in the quadrants uh, that they're written for and then next year when the new group of students come and take off the sandbags they have these level forms that describe what their quadrant is in so they know which level to start, what elevations they're going to, along with what kind of artifacts or features were being found with that quadrant. South or east, though, and southeast. Oh, well, that's <laughs> typical, isn't it? <laughs> Right now we are putting sandbags back in our excavation unit um, along with plywood along the walls and that will ensure that the uh, site is protected from uh, the elements and anybody snooping around for yeah. until next summer. One thousand three hundred and twenty-eight. Come on, come on. I bet we have around 6,000 sandbags put up in there. Yeah, I'm on 2,348.6. Uh, what was the estimate, like 7,000? We'll just go with like 9,000, seems like a good number. We've been working since about 8 and we just had our 10 o'clock break so just two and a half hours actually and we're I think just over halfway done as far as moving the sandbags but the site's almost full so we should have the site filled up ready to have the fencing and the dirt down by lunchtime. Money yep. Well, right now we're just finishing putting on the last layer of sandbags, and then we'll put a tarp down and a fence over that and fill it in with sediment. And then we have to take down the fence and the shelter around here, and the site's all closed for the season. We're covering the chicken wire that's over the tarp to hold it down, I suppose.
Right now, we're taking down the fences. Then we're going to start moving these sandbags into Justin's trench when he should be Butler's trench. <laughs> Two oh two. Two oh three. Two oh four. Bring in. Uh, plywood to fortify the walls and fortify the ground so next season when we come back uh, the site won't be caved in. Now we've packed everything up, we've got the site put back to bed, it's backfilled and smoothed over and now in the months to come the weeds will grow up and you'll never even know that we were here. But we'll be back again next summer for another year of exciting discoveries here at Cooper's Ferry. Goodbye Cooper's Ferry!